Ma, I'm going to work. Wah, oh, never seen you so enthusiastic about anything else before. Yeah, you're not even running late. Ma, Jie, teaching is so easy. I'm such a natural at it. You sure you can handle the students? Of course. Even this Hakim, always late for school, always getting into trouble, always playing pranks. Sounds like someone we know. Yeah, that's why I'm the best person to handle him. Because I know him the best. That, I'm sure. And I'm going to prove to all the teachers that guys like me and Hakim are not that bad. That, I'm not so sure. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. <laughs> Bye. Oh, anyway, you think they got awards for relief teachers? <sighs> Some recognition for my talents would be nice. Hmm. Poor Kaka. I can't believe it that Wafik ended things so suddenly with her. Alama. What? Ben changed his Facebook profile photo. So? So? It's him and Gina. What if Vanessa says this? But then, uh, she should know right that Ben has moved on. And she doesn't want him back, so it's fine, right? I wonder how Kaka is feeling. How is she going to tahan seeing Wafik at work? There you go, Nina. Thanks. So, bro, what's so interesting? Nothing. Just checking out your new profile photo. Oh, let's see. Oh, you and Gina look very nice together. Thank you, Ma. But why the many petty session photo? <laughs> it's nice what? <laughs> nice. Uncle Lian, I think you should be prepared for a new daughter-in-law. You know, as they say, a couple who does many petty together stays together. <laughs> Funny, right? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> yeah, have some breakfast. I'm not hungry. I'm yeah. going to work. Look. I know you're still upset. Ma, I do not want to talk about it. I just want to tell you that I'm sorry about you and Wafik. Really? I thought you'd be happy. You don't want me to be with Wafik, right? Now we're not. Of course, I won't be happy to see you hurt. It's for the best, dear. There will be a better, more Bye, eligible Ma. man out there for Bye. you. Eddie. Hey, Ben Matika. Uh, Mr. Chua is on MC today, so I will be supervising our fan club session. Okay, sure. I'll see you at the track later. Okay, see you. Bye. Hmm, never ever try to prank TGJC's number one prankster. How did you know? I saw you prepping the stuff under the stairs just now. It's not hard to guess what's coming next. Oh, sir, I heard Madam Atika is supervising the fan club session later. Yeah, why? I can't stand her. She's always picking on me or complaining about me. Because of her, I always kena detention. Ah, she's just strict. Just stay out of the way and you'll be fine. Whatever, I'm not afraid of her. Whoa, maybe you should be. Her husband's an ex-convict, you know. Scarly, she sends him to go after you, huh? Wait, her husband is an ex-con? Ah, uh, ah, uh, you, you're not supposed to know that. Then why does she act all high and mighty all the time? She's not perfect if her own husband is a criminal. Shh, shh, shh. Okay, okay, look, look. Just forget about what I said, okay? It's confidential. Don't go around telling anybody, okay? Okay. Okay? Sure. I, I gotta go. Bye. Salma? Yang bisa. Thank you, Zul. Why? Not nice. This is your favourite misiam, you know. Extra pedas. Very sedap, you know. So, do you think it's my fault that Wafik and Dia broke up? No. It's not your fault. And it's for the best. Sayang, you've been harping on the two of them for so long. You should have known it would have an effect. That's what you wanted, right? Yeah, but I just don't want Dia to hate me for it. Look, she will get over it. Anyway, there are many reasons for a breakup. You don't know. It may be totally for a unrelated reason. Yeah. Zul is right, Sayang. And if they are incompatible, then it's better for them to break up sooner than later, right? Felicia, don't forget to update me on these reports later. Okay, sure. Oh, 
Man, I'm so craving the chicken rice at Tanjong Katong. Shall we eat there for lunch? It's so far away. Can we just eat around here? But I'm so sick of the food around here. But we don't have time. We have to be back for the meeting. Let's just eat around here, okay? Uh. Come on, let's go. All right. Hi, Nolina. Hi. Siti. Wei Chiang. Tan Jin Wei. Tan Jin Wei. Come here. Jin Wei. Jin Wei. Jin Wei, are you okay? Jin Wei. Come, come, get up, get up. Hey, come, give him some advice. Yeah, so just boil the herbs in a soup and it should help you sleep better. They say it's good for pregnant women in their third trimester. Thanks. No problem. I was in the area anyway, so I just thought I'd get you some. Anyway, Ben doesn't know about the baby, right? No, don't worry. We haven't said anything. Good. I think it's better this way, now that he's happily attached. You know? Anyway, thanks for being so understanding. I guess I should go. Hey, wait. Um, I've got some time before Dr. Baska comes back from lunch. Do you want to hang out here for a while? Sure. That'd be nice. I'll take you to a nearby clinic. Eddie, you start the class first. I'll come back as soon as I can. Okay. Can you help him up? Help him up, help him up. Can you walk? Come slowly. Take this. Okay, the rest of you go take a five-minute break. Five minutes, come back here. <laughs> Sir, check this out. Coming? Coming? Down he goes! <laughs> what if Kim Wei broke his nose? It's not funny anymore, man. Sir, come on. This is hilarious. No, 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 no. no. I think we should stop these pranks before somebody gets seriously hurt. Whatever. I thought you were a cool teacher. The train was jam-packed and no one, I mean no one, gave up their seat for me. Seriously? I guess I've been lucky because I always get a seat. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I guess people just think I'm fat. You don't even look fat. I don't know. <laughs> you know, I can't wait for the baby to be out. Me too. Don't get me wrong, I love being pregnant. It's such a wonderful experience, but it's just been too long. I guess we're both ready to pop. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is really nice. But I should go. Sorry for all the things I said to you before. Don't worry about it. I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Thanks for being so nice. Okay then. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, are you okay? Uh, yeah. I just get dizzy sometimes when I stand up too fast. Oh, well, then you should let Doctor Baska check on you. No, it's fine. I should go. And thanks for keeping this from Ben. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? Why don't you give me your number so that we can catch up? Okay. Thank you. You take care. Yeah, me too. And don't forget to drink the herbs. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye. That was another unsatisfying lunch. It wasn't that bad. Oh. Hello? Yes, Shelling. Yes, it's ready now. Okay, I'll bring it over. Um, babe, I have to pass this to Shelling first, so I'll see you at the meeting. Mm. I got you a chicken rice. Wow, all the way from Tanjong Katong. Sorry it took me so long. I was stuck in traffic. Wow, Felicia, but I just said I'm very full now. But isn't this what you really wanted for lunch? It smells good though. Why don't you have it for lunch? Uh, I have a meeting now. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks, Felicia. Lina? After the next patient, can you get in touch with Dr. Ling for me? I need to talk to him about the referral. Okay, you stay far. Thank you. Thanks. Nina? 
How's everything? Okay. Yo, Lifan, you can go in. Thank you. Lina, pass me the next set of patient files. Lina, hmm? patient files. Oh. What's wrong with you? Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Hmm. I think you go home now and rest. I take care of things here. I'm okay. Go, 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 go. Huh? Hmm? Thank you. Ma? Mm. I need to tell you something. Okay, very good. Madam Antika, uh, so how's Jinwei? His nose has stopped bleeding after a while, thank goodness. He's got MC and has gone home to rest. And that's good. Hakim, do your exercise properly. At this rate, you're going to fail your NAFA test again. So what? Who cares? All right, I'm going to schedule you for extra training. What? You think I'm so free? Hakim, watch your tone. Not happy? Send me for detention then. Uh, Madam Atika, I'll get him to do the extra laps. Hakim, come here. Hakim, you cannot talk to your teacher like that. She's always picking on me. Go run an extra two rounds. What? Do I have to? Yes. It'll get you out of trouble in Matematica. Or you want to do detention instead? Go, 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 go! Hey, Felicia, do you know if this... No, I don't. I need help with this spreadsheet. Do I look like a help desk to you? Am I supposed to solve all your problems? Answer all your questions? <laughs> Maybe I should just change my name to Siri. Uh... Ding, ding, Siri, are you okay? That's not funny, okay? I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. Babe. Don't beg me. You know how I feel about you. And I thought you felt the same way too. What about the speech you gave over at my place? I meant every word. But why do I feel like you're just ignoring me? Look, I'm not ignoring you, alright? It's just difficult when Suzanne's around. And sometimes I get really busy and that's all. And I know you deserve better. Look, I'm sorry, all right? Wafik, you have already decided. Don't think about it anymore. Mr Lim, sorry to interrupt. Uh... I really need you to sign this urgently. Boss, I'll go back to my office. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Nadia? Yes? Are you alright? Um, yes, I'm fine. Thanks, Mr. Lim. <laughs> oh my God. This, oh, this is so funny. Yeah, you can always count on Eddie to do stupid things, especially with kids. <laughs> what are you watching? Oh, it's some silly video Eddie recorded yesterday at Madame Atika's birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Ben, I'm going upstairs. Call me if anything. Okay, ma. Sure. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> hey guys, sorry. Is it okay if you don't watch this video here right now? Uh, why? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Just feels weird to know that Eddie's now hanging out with my half-siblings. No problem, bro. But we're just thinking about it. Why am I so close off with my half-siblings? Huh? They're just kids and... whatever I feel towards my father has nothing to do with them. Oh, bro, don't feel bad. Give it some time. It's complicated. Hi, Auntie Zama. Hi, Lina. Uh, ben, where's your mother? She's upstairs. Why? I'll go and find her. Okay. Oh, Lina, come. Have a seat. Thanks.
What's going on? It's about Vanessa. I told my everything. me through this again? There's nothing between Felicia and me. You know that, right? Then why were you holding her hand? Look, I'm doing this for us, remember? I need to be on Felicia's good side so that she doesn't tell anybody about my fixer. Fine. Don't try too hard to be so convincing. She's pretty needy, alright? And you think this is fun for me? Her hands are all clammy and gross. Whatever. Just cool it on the physical contact, okay? I got it, babe. Mm. Come on, don't be angry. You want to draw it, Okay, 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 okay. You okay. look faster than that. Okay. Uh, I need to settle the bills for last night's party. Sure. Uh, okay, thank you. Just a minute. Eddie. Hey, Madam Matika. Eddie. Hey, boss, 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 boss. Eddie, do you spend a lot of time with Hakim outside of school? Oh, sometimes. He likes to hang out here at TCH. And we have the same taste in video games. But don't forget, you're his teacher, not a fellow student. Yeah, but it's okay, right? I mean, I'm more like a pal to them, not a teacher. I don't think that's a good idea, Eddie. Huh, mm, but I'm closer in age to my students. But you need to draw a clear line between a teacher and a student. Hi, your receipt. Thank you. Mm, Madam Matika, are you okay? Fine. Just, I asked my acting up, probably because of the our fan club session. Too much physical exertion. Uh, sit, sit, sit. Can we get you anything or? I just need my my inhaler. It's always in my bag. I can't find it. Maybe your husband stole it. I heard he's a criminal, right? <coughs> yeah, I think we can relook at some of the terms that we. I think I need to talk to you. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Sorry. Can I just call you back? Yeah, thanks. What is it? Does Mr. Lim have anything to do with the reason why you're breaking up with me? So you had to interrupt my overseas business call just to ask me this? Well, I think you said before that you wouldn't allow anything to stand in the way of our relationship. And you also told me before that Mr. Lim, he doesn't approve of office romance, conflict of interest and anything like that. So, does he have anything to do with it? I gave you my reasons why we shouldn't be together. I don't want to discuss this here. You haven't given me a clear explanation. Miss Nadia! Now is not the time or place for our personal issues. I'm your superior in the office. And I need you to be professional when we're in the workplace. Do you understand? Loud and clear. Oh. There you go. Uh, we should take you to the doctor. Uh, doctor Basker's clinic is nearby. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Susan. Susan, you go in here again? Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Here, use mine. Take slow, slow, deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale slowly, slowly. Slow, deep breaths. Do you feel better? Vanessa's pregnant. Are we sure it's Ben's? The timing fits. But she kept it from us all this time. She said she didn't want Ben to know. She wants to raise the child on her own. I don't trust her. She suddenly she was up one day, pregnant like that. She wants something. Ma, I've already spoken to her. She's even happy that Ben is in a relationship and doesn't want this to affect Ben. Huh. How did she know he's in a relationship? She must be still checking his Facebook account and social media and obsessing over him. I just feel very sorry for her. It's not easy going through this alone. Maybe she just really wants Ben to know, but doesn't know how. 
Sayang, you must be careful. I cannot forget what she put your whole family through when she was with Ben. Huh? Her crazy mood swings, her lies. But this is Ben's child. Yes, Ma. Until the end. Lina is right. Ben deserves to know. It's not fair for him to live his whole life never knowing about his own flesh and blood. Yeah. That's true, sayang. Next time, and hopefully there isn't a next time, just help her to regulate her breathing like I did earlier. Thanks, Suzanne. Luckily you came by. Both of us were in panic mode. Yeah, man, you should have seen your faces. <laughs> not funny. Yeah, Chris, not funny. Everything's fine now. You really don't care, do you? Hey, check this out. You were filming while I was panicking? Yeah. And you even got a close-up with Suzanne. Yeah, she's smoking hot. Wait, wait, don't delete it. Don't. Go home, Martin. So, how, Sayang? Do we tell Ben? No. We're not going to tell Ben anything. Right frame of mind is gonna let her boyfriend date another girl. Look, it's all fake, alright? It's just to keep Felicia quiet and nothing will happen between us. Trust me. Can I? I mean, it's not like you haven't lied to me before. Alright, babe. I'm sorry, alright? But you really got to trust me this time. Look, Felicia's a nobody. We can't let her jeopardize my job and our future together. So let's just keep her happy for now. Fine. <laughs>